Kevin McAllister's hiding superpowers. Kevin McAllister's hiding Omega level superpowers. Kevin McAllister's hiding Omega level godlike superpowers that would make Professor X wake up and wet his depends. I mean, just because he isn't super strong and carry a magic meat tenderizer, and the fact that he doesn't even have parental supervision. Oh, okay, I see what you did there. I understood that reference. He probably could have really helped out in Infinity War, but I'ma break it down for you. Kevin secretly has mind control powers that he uses to torment his entire family. Just like that reoccurring Twilight Zone kid. We first see him use this when he freaks out about packing his suitcase. He definitely made somebody pack the suitcase for him. Because we never see him go to his room in this entire movie, and later on he's gonna end up saying this. I can't seem to find my toothbrush, so I'll pick one up when I go out today. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. I think you're onto something big. At least three times in this movie, he breaks the fourth wall by speaking or looking at the audience like Deadpool. I'll save these for later. And he does just that. You could also suspect that he constantly torments his family by speaking to them through their mind. Buzz, I'm going through all your private stuff. You better come out and pound me. Guys, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. You better come out and stop me. And let's not forget the mind-mother connection. All right, I'm gonna settle down a little bit. Some of y'all out there are probably getting scared. The whole mind control, fourth wall, omnipresent thing. Just don't turn around and look because Kevin's standing right behind you. Now, as you can clearly see, this sled and this door do not line up at all. But now you're trying to tell me that he not only makes it through the door, but flies airborne out the door with no ramp and steering in a different direction. All of this takes place because Kevin is a powerful telepath. He wanted it to happen, so it did. There's no way Kevin could hear these guys walking around outside without superhero, especially since he slept through 14 people getting dressed earlier. It's a spider sense. Camouflage cloak invisibility. Super speed. Genius level DIY set building skills. And how did he know what time they was gonna come back without telepathy? If he's been dancing like this for hours then it's omega level stamina communication and manipulation of interdimensional furnace monster oh remember these he put them right where he needed them to be this is psychic precognitive awareness and preparation back about nine o'clock kevin knew exactly what time they would get there but we could tell from the church scene that he waited till at least eight o'clock before he started his plan so within an hour, Super Speed runs back home, draws out and colors Jean's plan, fills up and empties multiple buckets of water, constructs a stable rope zip line from a treehouse to the main house, heats up a glue gun and empties at least two pounds worth of feathers onto a rolling cart, repurposes the laundry chute with a light bulb and a hot iron, heats up a doorknob, perfectly aligned blowtorch pulley system, strategically placed toys and Christmas on them, top brush basement staircase by hand, added nail traps, added paint can traps. And somehow you're gonna tell me he did all this with three minutes left to spare. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. And even after all is said and done with this night before Christmas mischief, Kevin still cleans the entire house and bakes cookies before his mother arrives. Now this part here is going to completely trip you out. It's pretty cool that you didn't burn the place down. How did he know? It's pretty cool that you didn't burn the place down. Buzz may be hiding superpowers too. This should have just broke your mind in half. What's really going to bake your noodle later on is... Would you still have broken it if I hadn't said anything? 